Hello bee swarmers. Today's video is gonna be pretty short and sweet and we're gonna talk about that age-old fight of grinding your bees. Yep, everyone has to go through it and we always talk about the same thing, getting that 20% bond from puppy bee. And mostly everyone knows about that. You get a gifted puppy bee, you have 20% more bond, which saves you a lot of honey in the long run. You can level your bees, not spend as much honey, and in return you get a bee that's not really that good in your hive. I'm not a big fan of the puppy bee. Never have been. I don't actually have them in my hive right now. But I will. I'll put them back in the hive probably after Beesmas Part 2. And then I will spend a crazy amount of honey in order to get my hive up a little bit. Because I'm a blue hive. And that means the Robo Bears challenges give me a headache. But that's okay. So anyways, today's video is going to be not about the 20% that you can get from Puppy Bee, because mostly everyone knows about that, but it's going to be another way to get an extra 10%. That means 30% more bond that you can get for your bees for every treat that you buy. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're paying billions, billions, and trillions of honey for these treats, an extra 10% actually goes a really long way. For example, my entire hive is level 17 right now because I've been slacking. And in order for me to get from 17 to 18, I gotta pay about 1.9 trillion honey without a puppy bee. Now with the puppy bee and that 20% bond, I get to pay 1.58 trillion. So I save a little bit of honey, like 300 billion honey per bee, which isn't bad. But what else can I do? Not everyone knows that the moon amulet gives you bond for treats and it's not actually that hard now it maxes out at plus 10 percent bond for treats now once again it doesn't sound like a lot but you add that to the 30 percent with puppy bee and now you're talking about another 250 billion save from 17 to 18 so if i want to level my bees up from level 17 to level 18 instead of paying like 1.58 trillion with a gifted puppy bee i only have to spend 1.33 and look I rolled a couple, I already got another one, plus 9% bond, and plus 12% bond from battle, that's not bad. But I'm going to keep my old one because it's an extra 1% bond from treats, which is really all I care about. The bond from battle doesn't really do, do that much in the long run. Okay, so you get the plus 10% from the moon amulet, and then the plus 20% from the puppy bee, and when you get to the higher levels, that saves you a lot of honey. Say we're trying to get our hive from 19 to 20. It's about 15 billion bond to get one level 19 bee to level 20. That's about 15 trillion honey without the puppy bee. That's 12.5 trillion with the gifted puppy bee. And then finally, if my math is right, 10.5 trillion per bee to get your bees from 19 to 20 if you have the 20% from the puppy and the 10% from the moon amulet. That's not bad. So, for those of you that didn't know, because I don't really see it that much on YouTube or any videos covering it too often, that 30% really does make a difference in the long run, especially for the end gamers and for the mid gamers that are reaching towards that supreme amulet. So I hope this video helped. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I'll be putting some more out soon. I haven't been putting too many videos out lately, but I'll start uploading more if you guys want me to. And if anyone knows, like any other ways to get bond that I'm missing, bond for treats. Any other way, please let me know in the, down in the comments and we'll make sure everybody knows how to level up because once Beesmas Part 2 comes out, like in a year or I don't know, whenever on it decides to give us Beesmas Part 2, we will do our best to level up. All right, guys, thanks for liking. If you liked the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can tell me in the comments what I did wrong and I'll try to do better next time. You guys have a good day.